Good morning. Today we are going to discuss bidirectional shift register with parallel load. Bidirectional shift register with parallel load. For example, this is a shift register means here we have a group of flip flops and each flip flop is storing one bit of information. And in our earlier class, we discussed how data can be pushed on this shift register that means in a serial fashion as well as parallel that means parallel input and serial input we have discussed here we are going to discuss bidirectional shift register that means data can be entered from left to right from right to left as well as parallel that means here three types of inputs are possible either you can enter data from left to right that means shifting in a serial fashion, we are entering data from left to right. Another one is from right to left. And third one is parallel. For example, here you have a group of bits say 1011. 1011. What will happen? If you are pushing it from left to right, initially you are pushing 1, then what will happen? This one is pushed on to this flow flow. When the next one is pushed, here this this will become 1 1 that means this is this will come here and next one is here then when this zero is pushed what will happen this zero is pushed onto the first flip flop the content of the flop, first flip flop is going to here and the content of second flip flop is going to this place now what will happen if this one is pushed that is here this will go here this one will go here and this one is here that means here the content of the first flip flop is moved to second content of the second flip flop is moved on to third and content of third is moving on to fourth that is we are shifting this from left to right okay and if you are pushing this from right to left, what will happen? Right to left to shifting. If you are using right to left to shifting, you are pushing data in reverse order. Pushing data from right to left. See here, if you are pushing data 1011, what will happen? 1011. Initially, you are pushing this one. Here, in this case, from left to right, you are pushing. That is why you are entering the rightmost bit initially, then immediate to the left. Then that means. This LSB to MSB you are pushing. LSB to MSB. And here you are pushing in the reverse direction. That means MSB to LSB. This is most significant bit to least significant bit. That means 1011. When we are pushing this one, what will happen? That will be pushed on to this. When this zero is pushed, what will happen? The content of this flip flop is moved to this flip flop, and the next one is initially you are pushing one, and when this zero is pushed, what will happen? That one is moved to here, and zero will be here. Next one, when this one is pushed, what will happen? This one will come here, this zero will come here and this one is pushed next one is this one then when that one is pushed what will happen this one will come here this zero is here one and the last one will come here that means this is the way you are doing this from right to left right to left shift to left that means shifting that means shifting to left 
this is the way this is also uh, a kind of serial input that means you are going to enter that a serial in two ways that means from left to right that means here from left to right shifting and from right to left shifting that means as we have only four full flops four clocks like this are needed for storing four bit of information in this four flip flops so another one is if you have a parallel input if you are giving say 1 0 1 1 here what will happen in a single clock cycle that will be pushed on to this ok that means for parallel load you need only one triggering or one clock pulse is needed for entering data parallelly that means four bits are stored in this for flip flops or shift register so this is a circuitry in which we can have either of these three that means you can either your input is parallel load or left to right shifting or right to shift, left to shifting for that here we are using a dut for decoder dut for decoder means here this is a decoder which is having two inputs sl1 and sl0 and depending on the input we are going to have either left to right shifting right to left to shifting or parallel load and depending on this if sl0 and sl1 are 0 0 then what will happen is parallel input sl0 and sl1 are 0 and what will happen the output is right adjacent flip flop output right right adjacent flip flop means it is right adjacent flip flop this is the right adjacent flip flop that means output is coming from here that means it is a left to right shifting and this is output left adjacent flip flop means this is the uh, uh, this is the flip flop from which you are going to take the output ok and one one is not used so see at this point in time you should remember one thing that means depending on SL1 and SL0 here we have four different outputs this zero output stands for parallel input if this is set that means in a 2 to 4 decoder here four outputs are there and among these four outputs only one is set and the other will be reset the value of one of the <coughs> output lines will be 1 and all other will be 0 that means if your parallel output is if you are selecting 0 0 that means SL1 and SL0 0 0 and 0 that means parallel input then this line will be activated this line will be activated the first line will be activated and if this 0 1 what will happen that is for that is for that is for um, right to left shifting that is for right to left shifting this one stands for right to left shifting and for uh, two this is left to right shifting so we are going to discuss how the this is accomplished that means we have three input lines this is the input line for left to right shifting that means this is right shifting means for left to right shifting uh, you you should choose this of the serial input line and for right to left shifting this is the input this is the point at which you are going to provide the input and for parallel load you need four input lines ok say suppose that uh, we are going to discuss how this can be achieved here this is the clock this is the clock and this is negative anti triggering this is a negative anti triggered flip flop ok negative anti triggered flip flop and what will happen when we are selecting parallel load that means suppose that we are selecting 
0 and 0 that is parallel load what will happen when you are selecting this parallel load this 0 will be activated this 0 will be activated and these three lines are for two three AND gates three AND gates and now this 0 as this is 1 the second second AND gate will be second AND gate is this one second AND gate is having input 1 for this and this that means as the line 1 and line 2 are zeros these two are not activated and the second AND gate is activated here also second gate is activated see this is connected to this that is why the second AND gate is activated here also second gate is activated here also second gate is activated all other gates will be deactivated by the output of this will be 0 and output of this also will be 0 output of this first and third these two are zeros output of first and third are zeros output of first and third are zeros that means if you are providing that to or giving the input to another OR gate the exam uh, the property of an uh, OR gate is it is overing the three inputs and these two inputs are zeros these two inputs are zeros definitely these two inputs are zeros first and third inputs are zeros first and for all uh, OR gates first and third inputs are zeros if you are selecting this zero plan that means if you are adding this and this is the input this is the input and this is the parallel input if the parallel input is 1 and this 1 and 1 that will be given to this now 1 and 1 is given to ask the input to or for this D flip flop we have D is equal to 1 ask these two flip flops are or the, these two and gets are having zero outputs the output of this OR gate depends on the output of this AND gate and this AND gate, the output of this AND gate depends on the input if this input is 1 what will happen the output of this AND gate is 1 and that is what here and then and the output of this OR gate will be 1 if this is 0 what will happen if this is 0 what will happen then that 0 is given here and the output will be 0 and the output also will be 0 if this is 1 definitely this output will be 1 and this will be 1 and likewise here also the output of this OR gate depends on the input if this is 0 this is 0 if this is 1 this is 1 and this is 1 this is 1 if this is 0 this will be 0 ok that means if you are selecting parallel load if you are selecting parallel input then depending on the value of SL1 and SL0 you are selecting parallel input and once you have selected this parallel input the 0 clan or the land represented by 0 will be active and all of those will be deactivated this third line is not used and here these two are zeros after this one and two are zeros then all input to OR gates except the second one will be zeros that means as land number one and two are zeros then definitely the output of the first as well as the third and gates will be 0 and the output of this OR gate depends on the input you are given to this AND gate if the input to this AND gate is 1 then definitely this will be 1 if the input to this is 0 here also it is 0 if the input is 1 
Here input is 1. If the input is 0, here also input is 0. And likewise, that means after giving it, if you are giving, if you are giving that clock, then this data will be the content of this flip flop. This data will be the content of this flip flop. This data will be the content of this flip flop. And likewise, uh, SL, SL1 and SL0, so SL0 and SL1 are 0 and 1. The output right at the SL flip flop. That means here the output is taken from this flip flop. That means it is a left to right shift register. Left to right shift register. In that case, what happens is that means in S of SL0 and SL1 are 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Then definitely that means it is a, a right shift operation. In that case, as it is a right shift, then line number 2 will be active. That means SL1 and SL0. This is actually SL. This is if this is SL1 and then this is SL0. SL1 and SL0. SL1 and SL0. This will be 1, 0 and this is 0, 1. Okay. Then this one stands for 2. This is 0, this is 2 and this is 1. Okay. That means if this is a right shift operation, a right shift register we are choosing, then definitely that this second line or line number 2 will be active. And if this 2 is active, what will happen? Line number 0 and 1 will be 0 or deactivated. And the output of these two or these two lines will be 0 and this line will be 1. Okay. If this is 1, what will happen? If this is 1, if line number 2 is active, 2 is set, then what will happen? The first AND gate of all this will be active and second and third AND gates will be deactivated. That means the output of these two AND gates, here these two AND gates, these two and these two AND gates will be, these two AND gates will be 0 and the second line is active that is why this input will be, this input, this input will be 1. That means this is 1, this is 1, this is 1 and this is 1 and depending on the serial data input depending on if we are giving say 1 what will happen 1 and 1 is 1 and that one is given here this is 0 this is 0 and this is 1 what will happen this is 1 and when you are giving the clock pulse that 1 is entered into this okay after that if you have that means I am going to give 1 0 1 1 from in this fashion initially we are giving 1 then next one then it is 0 and 1 initially we are giving 1 then 1 then that is pushed on to this register ok now 1 is stored here and see now this 1 is available here and that two ones give one, okay. That one here also you have one. So when the next clock pulse during the next clock when the next clock pulse is triggered, when during the next clock cycle, what will happen? Here you are going to provide the next one. That means usually you have given this one and that is given here now the status is this one okay now the output of these two are 0 and 0 and this is 1 now 1 is here the, the this flip flop is having the information 0 initially suppose that every flip flop is having say zeros okay now what will happen now what will happen When the next, during the next trigger, what will happen? 
here I am going to provide 1 now here 1 and ask you have 1 here ask this is a D flip flop during the next trigger this one will be entered into this and this one is ended here now 1 1 0 0 now this one is available here and these two are 0 and 0 this one is provided here this is 1 and that's it ask this is a D flip flop now you are going to give this 0 here now 0 so 0 dot 1 is 0 and now we have 0 here and when you are lowering these 3 zeros now it is 0 and when you are giving uh, when, you, when this is triggered what will happen when this is triggered what will happen now this 0 is stored here now this one is stored here and this one is stored here okay now if this zero is stored here what will happen now this will be zero zero dot one is zero now this is zero and this is zero now this one is stored here now one okay now this one is stored here now this is one here it is 1, 0, 0 and 1, ok. Now, in the next cycle, what will happen? We are going to provide this one here and now, here it is 1, 1, 1, it is 1, 1 and 1. Now, when the trigger is applied, this one is stored here this zero is stored here this one is stored here and this one is stored here that means now you have one zero one one stored in the shift register one zero one one that means i am going to give in uh, like this that means from right to left your uh, in, your in, your input is from right to left and once you have done this, after 4 clock cycles, 1, 0, 1, 1 is stored in this register. Now, suppose that you are decoder, you are selecting output at left at descent flip flop or from right to left, then 0, 1 will be selected. And when you are, if you are selecting 0, 1, if you are selecting If you are selecting this 0, 1, then definitely this LAN 1 is active. When this LAN 1 is active, this or the rightmost AND gate will be active. These two will be deactivated. Okay. Now, this is 0, this is 0. And here also, we are having these two zeros. Here you are having two zeros. Here also you are having two zeros and now what will happen? See, suppose that the initial command of this is zero, zero, zero and zero. Now what will happen? You are pushing this in this direction that means one zero one one and from left to right you are pushing initially you are pushing 1 to this that means you are inputting data and you are pushing from right to left as far as right to left shifting is concerned here you are going to push data like this that means 1 0 1 and 1 1 0 1 and 1 here definitely when you are using this line number that means from right to left shifting you are using this line on active that is why here it is having one here also it is having one here it is having one and here also it is having one ok all others will be zero that means these two and gates will be zero 
output of these two will be zero these two will be zero and these two will be zero and ask this line number one that means line number one means this right to left shifting this line one will be active that is why this and gate then be active this and gate will be active and suppose that you are going to provide these inputs you are going to provide the inputs like this that is 1 0 1 1 what will happen initially we are giving 1 here that means serial data input is 1 then this input will be 1 this is 1 suppose that initially these 3 values 4 all the 4, four uh, flip flops are having 0 and this is the input first serial input from right we are giving that is 1 and when that is given here and when this clock is applied as per the property of D flip flop this one is stored here now this is having output 1 and definitely this is having 1 and this is 1 and this is 1 ok now this one is available here and when the second clock pulse is applied what will happen now when the second clock pulse is applied see the serial input data for the next clock cycle is this so here you are going to provide that 0 then definitely this will be 0 and this also will be 0 this is the status before applying the second clock pulse when that clock pulse is applied as per the property of D flip flop this one is stored here and this zero is stored here if this zero is stored here definitely this is zero and that is fed as the input to this this is zero definitely one and zero this is zero and definitely this is zero and this one is available here and that is for two but does the input to this register it is one and this is one here it is one okay now what will happen now what will happen when the during the next clock cycle this is the input so i am going to have the input one this is one and this also is one and now if you are applying the clock pulse then this one is stored here this zero is stored here and this one is stored here okay if these three are the inputs now this one is available where here it is available that one is available then definitely this will be one and this will be one that means here it is zero that means that is available here definitely this is zero and this also is zero and if this is one that's available here one and one is one then definitely one is here so this is the status okay now if you are providing that last one and that is pretty here now this is the when clock pulse is applied what will happen this one is stored here this one is stored here this zero is stored here and this one here that means after four clock pulses one zero one one is the content of these flip flops that means the output of this is given to as the input to this the output of the this flip flop is given as the input to this output of this flip flop is given here okay in this way we can have a bidirectional uh, shift register with parallel load and as the name suggests in this 2 to 4 decoder is selecting the operation that means if sl1 and sl0 are 0 and 0 parallel input if it is 1 0 left to right shifting if it is 0 1 right to left shifting and if it is 1 1 
uh, that one one combination is not used okay thank you